Being a hardcore video gamer since I was a kid. Now I'm collecting complete collections if they're under five quid. PS3. Hello! Welcome once more to VG Trader and my complete PS3 collection for five pounds or under. Yes, this is the third video in my challenge to get a complete PS3 collection for five pounds or under. In other words, I'm going to try and buy each game for less than a fiver. Um, it's not proving easy yet. Yeah, there's a lot of games for less than a fiver, but obviously there's a lot of games that are going for sort of 100, 200 quid at the moment. Um, a lot of rare games. The place to track those down is car boot sales, and I will do so. But uh, let me go in to some more games that I picked up for the collection. And one, the first game today, is The Bureau, XCOM Declassified. I think you're stopping an alien invasion. I haven't played it yet. I think it's based on a PC game. So that's the first game I picked up recently. I will try it and I'll get back to you. Right, next one is a JRPG, Japanese role playing game for anyone who doesn't know, um, called Tales of Zestiria. Now, I sort of broke the rules a bit on this one. Uh, as I've said before, when it comes to games that are under five pounds, I'm willing to pay slightly more. So I'm willing to pay like, you know, seven quid for a game if they're in a buy two games, get one free. Because I figure you're getting free games for 14 quid, uh, which works out, you know, less than the fiver a game. Hence it works. Tales of Zestiria, um, I think it was about seven quid, but obviously not seven quid. Well, it's supposed to be an amazing Japanese role play game. Again, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. And the other one I picked up is the special edition version. How do I say this? Tales of Exilia 2 Day 1 Edition. Now this is the one that came out, I think, for people that pre-ordered the game. Um, but I found it for the same price as a normal pre-owned version of this. And it was about 7 quid. And uh, yeah, it's in the tin, tin box. Nice and shiny. Still in really good condition. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, still pretty good, isn't it? Um, yeah, and that was another one. And I think it also comes with a CD. Special tracks selected by the development team. Yes, it also comes with a music CD. That's cool. Now, another one that I was really pleased about, and I paid a pound for this at a car boot sale, was Little Big Planet. Now, Little Big Planet isn't a rare game at all. You can find it everywhere. And to be honest, you'll probably be able to pick it up for a couple of quid anyway. But look, sealed. Yeah. A sealed version of Little Big Planet. For a quid. How good's that? Amazing. And it wasn't the only sealed game I picked up that day, because the same people were selling Assassin's Creed Revelations sealed for a quid. Those people are bonkers. Um, you know, not that they're particularly rare games. I mean, this, to be honest, would probably be about two quid if it wasn't sealed. But, you know, sealed adds a few quid on, doesn't it? And it's nice. Yeah, because it feels new. I've also got a sealed copy of Max Payne 3. Now, I got this as a present. So I didn't actually spend any money on it. Yeah, it was a present. And it was the massive box version. Um, so I'm putting that in the collection because I think it counts. If I haven't spent a penny and someone's given it to me as a present, it counts. So if anyone else wants to give me any presents, ha ha, PS3 games please. Um, yeah, and the great thing about this is it also came with a really cool statue of Max Payne, sort of with with a gun. He's just fired it, and there's loads of bullets on the floor. And it came with a cool bullet key, key ring with like a real style bullet, and some collector's art and bits and bobs. And uh, yeah, yeah, I have actually played this. I had another version of this ages ago before I got the special edition version, and I sort of finished the game. So when I got the special edition given to me, I really just wanted the statue and stuff, uh, which I've got on a uh, shelf. Um, so yes, yeah, so I haven't opened this version. So, still sealed. Amazing. Um, I've also got a limited edition version of Kane and Lynch Dog Days 2. Um, to be honest, it's limited, but you know, how limited? Probably not much. There's nothing particularly amazing about it. Um, maybe you can see the back. Yeah, and to be honest, the Kane and Lynch games are a bit sort of hit and miss, literally. Um, you play two drugged up, I think, are you policemen or? I can't remember what you are. I have played the first one. In this gritty and bru brutal crime shooter, a simple job gone wrong finds Kane and Lynch on a desperate and frantic struggle to escape the entire Shanghai underworld. Players Lynch, a medicated psychopath. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you're police or not. Um, you're a psychopath. 
And uh, yeah, this one came with exclusive, exclusive downloadable content, some guns and some different masks and yeah, nothing amazing. And obviously the exclusive downloadable content is gone, but you know, the box is still nice and it only cost me two quid. So there we go. Right, next one, this one I was so pleased about. I'd actually bought the normal version of Battlefield, um, bad, Battlefield Bad Company. And uh, yeah, I've shown that in I think the first video I did for this. And guess what? I then found the gold edition. Do you know what? Even the gold edition isn't actually that expensive yet, but look at the gold. Oh my god. It dazzles and delights. Yes, it's not real gold, but if you want to pay me its weight in real gold, I am willing to sell it, as I also have a copy of Battlefield Bad Company. But yes, I will obviously have to have a hundred million pounds. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? I know, and obviously it's it's got like a slightly different cover on the inside as well. It came with some extra content and some behind the scenes documentaries, but you know, who wants to watch behind the scenes documentaries? Some nerdy developer going, Yeah, I worked on some trees for, for six years. They were green, but they're really realistic. And not the most riveting documentaries, and they always seem to do them in special editions for games, but um, yeah, I'm still really pleased I got that. Right, next one, Grand Theft Auto Special Edition. It's got the tin box inside, it's exactly the same game, there's nothing that different. I, I you know, inside there's like a little map uh, that's kind of a blueprint, um, so it's like, you know, like a black bank job map. Um, there is a special edition version of this game that you can pick up that uh, is like a collector's edition. It's got a whole load more stuff, and I'm actually going to be talking about that in a video for um, which video games will make you rich. I'm going to do a special GTA video, which is coming up possibly next week or the week after, so keep your eye out for that. But yeah, this one is really cheap, and you can pick it up for about three quid now if you can find it, but obviously most people want the special edition, so it's harder to find, but it's not rare. Right, next one. Um, blah, blah, blah. I've got Tom Clancy's Hawks, which is a fighter playing game, and Tom Clancy's Hawks 2, which is a fighter playing game, and uh, yeah, they're fighter playing games. Um, you know, I wouldn't really call them simu simulations, it's sort of in between a simulation and an arcade game. But yeah, they're not bad. If you're w wondering what that weird crunching is, listen. I'll stop. It's my cat. Yeah. Pepsi turns up in these videos. She's over there eating some cat biscuits. Um, she's not interested in game collecting. She's got much better things to do than uh, than me, the nerd, who just, you know, works as a servant for her. Anyway, back to this. My next game that I picked up for, again, two quid. One of the best shooting games on the PS3, and that's Singularity. I think it's also on the Xbox 360, but it's absolutely amazing game. Um, so, yeah, I don't really like shooting games, but I love this one. So, um, yeah. If you haven't played it, check it out. You pick it up really cheap, and it is, I promise you, amazing. Right, next one is Juice X. Is it Juice X? Is that how you... I thought it was Juice X to start with. You know, obviously not the best way to pronounce it. Don't call it Juice X, that's terrible. It's Juice X, yeah. And, um, yeah, Human Revolution. There's a new one coming out of these uh, on the PS4. And the new version of Juice X... And, uh, yeah, Human Revolution. I don't know what the new one's called, but, um, yeah, I saw the trailer for it. It looks really good. But um, this is a great game. Right, next one. It's my old friend Vin. It's The Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. Now, this came out... I can't even remember what system it was. Uh, was it a 360 it came out on originally? It was an amazing game. Um, it's kind of one of those stealth games and you have to, I think you have to escape from a prison. It, it reminds me of um, the first Batman Arkham Asylum game. Um, yeah, you have to escape, but it's a lot more gory um, and it's actually amazing. I think there's something else on this. Hang on, let me have a look. It's um, two great brutal games in one package. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Includes remastered Escape from Butcher Bay. That was the original one. And, yeah. This is Assault on Dark Athena, so this isn't the one where you're escaping from a prison unless you're assaulting a prison. But yeah, Escape from Butcher Bay is the first one, which is also on the disc. And, you know, I think it's been updated with some better graphics. 
But yeah, great game. Vin Diesel actually makes better games than he makes films. Uh, terrible actor, but he actually owns a games company. And he, he also made Wheelman. I don't know if you've ever played that. The graphics were terrible, but it was a great game. Right, um, that's also on PS3. And I'll show you in another episode. Right, the next one I want to show you is Heavenly Sword. Everyone's dream woman. Everyone's dream woman. She's pretty attractive, isn't she? Yes, sadly she's not real, so she's not for you. It's kind of hack and slash game. It's pretty good. Uh, it was actually one of the first games to come out on the PS3. I don't know if it was a launch title, but it came out pretty soon after the PS3 came out. And it's, it's a brilliant game, and you can pick this up for like a quid. So if you ever see it around in any game shops or car boot sales, pick it up because it's brilliant. The last one I'm going to talk about today, or show you, uh, Resistance Free Special Edition. Another gold box. I don't know what's so special about this. Oh, it's got a vinyl effect Blu-ray disc. Who cares? Do, do you care if it's a vinyl effect Blu-ray disc? No one cares. Multiplayer booster. SRPA Black Ops skin. Infected Nathan Hale skin. Sentimental. Oh, Sentinel, not Sentimental. That would be rubbish. There's not really a lot that special about it, but it's a nice box and I paid two quid for it, so, you know. Not bad, and I didn't have this version, so I was quite pleased. Anyway, that's everything for today for my PS3 collection for five quid or under. Join me again soon, where I continue to try and build the complete collection. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>